Welcome to Embedded World 2018, where we're focusing on ST innovation in the world of artificial intelligence. A field, this gentleman here, Daniel Opau, has been Chris. working in for 25 years. Yes, indeed. You've seen many developments over indeed. two decades plus. Yes. What's ST bringing to the party now? Well, Chris, this is STM32CubeMX.ai. is a real game changer because it helps uh, our customer um, to be more productive and efficient by deploying uh, any artificial neural networks they develop on STM32 microcontroller, any kind of. Listen, explain to me very simply, what's the big deal about putting a neural net on a microcontroller? Well, because this is a key technology enabling true intelligence close to the sensor for IoT to take benefit of, because uh, by 2020 there will be 50 billion of devices attached to the uh, cloud, many hundreds of, uh, million, of billion of sensors, and so we need uh, really, and there is a, a strong market demand, uh, to have intelligence closer to the sensor as possible. And where does ST come in then? Our customers are experiencing three types of gaps. First is uh, productivity of software development, second is uh, uh, interoperability between uh, cloud and uh, uh, embedded system and also because uh, it takes a lot of skills uh, to develop uh, uh, efficient neural network for uh, resource constrained embedded device. And STM32 CubeMX uh, uh, AI solves all those gaps in one stop solution. For example, it is a client server application that helps uh, uh, any customer to automatically convert any pre-trained neural network in a memory efficient fast library that can run on any STM32 microcontrollers and then uh, um, it, uh, uh, it runs as a simple page in a browser uh, so it can be all the conversions can be controlled by simp with simplicity because uh, all the machinery and complication is hidden in a server that we prepared and uh, we support the community of developer and 75 percent accordingly to measures on 2017 were using exactly uh, the off-the-shelf tool we interface and we interoperate with and we are showing a different kind of application audio processing uh, inertial processing uh, uh, running on different type of uh, STM32 uh, with different mix of uh, memories and uh, complexity in terms of uh, uh, frequency, operating frequencies. So can we see the tool chain in action? Yes, Chris. Uh, uh, so I loaded the neural network on uh, STM32CubeMX.ai. I generated uh, an implementation that fit on the resources. I downloaded the network and uh, uh, put it on the STM32. Now I'm uh, feeding the STM32 with an audio file, indoor audio sources. It will flash one because the network uh, recognizes that we are indoor. In a while will be outdoor sound. Here we are, and so flashing two times because it recognizes we are outdoor. In, uh, in a second we'll go in car, and so we'll flash three times. Here we are. That means that he's able to recognize indoor, outdoor, and in car. Another example is uh, uh, human activity recognition. So let me uh, connect uh, uh, the sensor tile and the network I have here with uh, an interface, a graphical interface, and in a while will be connected and will show that. Uh, uh, so here we are. Okay, so I'm walking and now I'm running. Okay, and here we are. <laughs> okay, take care. <laughs> Thanks for the demo, Dino. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.